Thank you, thank you, thank you, Corona, for giving me this opportunity to work from home and uh, give me time to develop the artistic side of me. What on earth is happening to our country? One bad germ comes across our open borders, thank you very much, Tony Blair, and we all run for the hills. I am all Miss Denise, you all right? Oh, have you got hold of any loo rolls? Because there's none in the shops, is there? It's because you keep bloody taking them. We need them, Baz. We don't need 400 loo rolls. You work in insurance for 23 years and it can dry up your creative juices. So, this is a ballad. Do you think this is what got us through the war? When the bombs were raining down on us, I mean, obviously I wasn't there, but Grandpa says in Hereford, during the Blitz, they certainly weren't worrying about bloody toilet rolls. Mum, if you need some, there's this trick I've done, which is about police stations. They've got loads of loo rolls. So what you need to do is go in, report a crime to the desk sergeant, and then fill your handbag on the way out in the ladies. And this song is called No Claims Bonus. Some little tiny Chinese bug is not going to stop me going out. I'm not skulking about at home, huddled against the arger, listening to the BB bloody sea scaremongering all day. I'm off right now to Waitrose in my diesel Range Rover. Yes, diesel. Shoot me. You filled the form. You should have shown us. The previous car had a no claims bone. How am I supposed to work? I can't make a living. If people are at home all day and all night, how am I expected to break into their house? I wonder if it's clear she filled the form in online. I've never seen anything like it. It's dead. I mean, I've seen troughs before. It's hard to get into people's houses at Christmas. We all know that. But nothing like this. Nothing like that. I really don't hear anything about what the government's going to do about it either. Yeah, I think yeah, it needs more work. I mean, our industry of second-hand goods contributes millions to the economy. But I don't think the government seems to care about that. It's as if we're looked down on somehow. Oh, hi. Um, I didn't know whether the adoption agencies would be open, actually, during the lockdown. I've had to set up a crowdfunder, try and get some income that way, but no one seems interested in helping out an old burglar down on his luck. No, I'm not looking to take anyone. I would like to give my two up for adoption. And yet another example of how the self-employed in this country are getting hammered. I mean, I pay my taxes. Well, I don't actually pay my... Look, the point is that you should not take the government's advice. Please, please, don't stay at home. As soon as possible, please. 13 and 15. I um, keep kicking around this theatre idea that I love. Uh, it's a musical, but an intense one about a gorgeous widow who falls for a misunderstood loss adjuster. Uh, everything was fine until I had to do the homeschooling. And what gives it a twist is that the brick wall in her garden has collapsed and because it's a party wall there are two sets of insurance companies involved one for either neighbour i can't blame them they are wonderful kids dara loves uh, computer games and rish loves computer games the climax of the story is a set piece in the depot where the new bricks are being transported to the garden they just need someone better at offering other distractions, especially now since all of their computer games managed to get themselves smashed up with a claw hammer. But it ends happily for the romantic couple because both insurance companies agree to cover half the costs and the widow's premium isn't affected unduly. No, I, okay, that was a long shot. <laughs> Do you take adults? Isn't affected unduly, Julie? No, 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 please don't go. Don't go, please. Can you offer me a good home? Might, might need a bit more work. Ben? Hi, it's Sophie. Hi, we both swiped right. Yay! <laughs> um, thanks for being cool with this. I mean, obviously, if it weren't for Corona, we could meet up face to face, but uh, don't want to catch anything. <laughs> Though these days, herpes would kind of feel like a walk in the park. Martin Foster here, author of Thinking Out of the Box, self published. Well, it just wasn't working out really, so I ended it. Only problem is he hasn't actually been able to move out, so he's still here. But... <laughs> No, we don't have a sofa, so we share the bed. I know a lot of you were very curious to know uh, if you could vaccinate against coronavirus by eating bad shit. I am definitely, definitely ready to move on. You actually look a little bit like him. My condition 
actually uh, got a lot worse and I was inconvenienced by uh, stomach upsets. Um, yeah, just the two of us. Well, and his brother, obviously, but that, that's just temporary. So, um, yeah, and he sleeps on the floor. Don't worry. <laughs> Dizzy spells, stomach cramps. Yeah, I'm a fitness instructor, so still um, running my classes on Peck and Rye. Um, I mean, I know you're not really supposed to, but how am I going to live, really? And um, I mean, if I'm breaking the law, how are they actually going to enforce it? So... Oh, I, I, how, right, how, how long have you been a police officer then? Panic attacks, vomiting, continual uh, incontinence. This is going really well. Maybe next time we could like watch a film, like watch Netflix together and pretend we're in the same room or something. Please don't arrest me. Relentless diarrhea. Always been an outdoors kind of chap. Uh, so obviously being inside all the time, it's challenging. This is an act of God, people. I mean, the army don't train you for this kind of thing, you know, and I know, I know that I've got to try and keep myself busy, but I'm just not that kind of patient person. Through the power of God's technology, I can hear you. And you ask, why we praise the Lord when he's created this situation of misery around the world? A situation where we are stuck at home with our families, with no church, with no service and no donations. I repeat, no donations. Uh, I tried to learn French yesterday. It just took too long. The church which lies empty as we speak, with bills piling up like the Tower of Babel and school fees. I have my dog, Monty, who is a wonderful, wonderful companion, um, as I don't have the patience for reading, um, I've never really cared for television. Now he has deemed that we cannot be together, but we can show our appreciation of the Lord through the medium of PayPal. I've been in difficult military situations where I've seen men, good men, just, just go off their rockers. The Lord will reward your donations. He especially likes direct debit seen them not realizing that they've gone off their rockers standing order is also acceptable so let us pray and pay monty died yesterday and i ate him i'm gonna tell her i am i've got my suitcase packed and everything it's just the timing isn't great is it firstly before i start i'd like to just commend the kent police for setting up this uh, coronavirus skype hotline of course i love you i do <laughs> my name is bernard leg of nine the meadows Orpington, O-P, doesn't matter. Yes, I do like it when you do that thing. No, 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 it has to be, um, yeah, yeah, the Bauer meeting, we're going to have to do it on a Skype. Thanks, Kate. Yeah. That was close. I would like to report uh, three people in Hinson Park, um, less than two metres apart. Now, uh, one was in a Tottenham Hotspur football shirt, uh, he was at the top of the slide. I can't, because I'm only allowed out for half an hour and visiting your girlfriend's fat hardly constitutes essential travel. Then there was a younger girl, about four, I'd hazard, um, right behind him on the ladder. What? What sort of question is that? In the bedroom, where else am I supposed to sleep? No, I'm not doing anything. Don't even think about it. I'm facing the other way. Look, I'll tell her tonight. And then another one of similar age, which is then two rungs behind her. And she was also on the matter. It'll hit the kids hard, of course, but they'll get over it. Oh, she's pretty strong. Yeah, I'd also like to report um, a middle-aged woman in a leopard print sweatshirt for offensive language. We'll be together soon. No, no, not Zoom. It has to be Skype. Yeah. Skype. Thanks. Thanks, Kate. Bye. <laughs>